Hey, what's going on out there in YouTube land? You are now tuned in to another dope video here at No BS Allowed TV. I am your host, King P, AKA The Ice Nine, AKA Mr. Go To Guy, AKA Big Game James, AKA Pastor Offering, AKA The Reason Why You Are Here. All right. Thank you again uh, for tuning in. Shout out to all the new subscribers. Um, I really appreciate that. It helps the channel to grow and I'm definitely trying to grow, grow this thing. I'm trying to take it all over the world if I can. All right. Now, for those who are new here, you are now tuned into the place that discusses truth, life, love and all dope points in between. So y'all know how we do it. Let's get right into it. Today. Today's video is a word of advice, if you will. I'm not going to be on here long. not going to take up too much of your time. I just want to talk about getting rid of people who mean us no good. Even if we are attached to them emotionally. Now, let me be up front. I'm not necessarily a... Um, emotionally charged type of individual I don't dwell in my emotions I think that as men that is a dangerous place to be it isn't about what you feel it's about what you know and about what you can produce and provide but that's another conversation for another day however there's a lot of unhealed individuals running around out there now, I'm no licensed therapist, so all, the, all of what I'm going to say is just my opinions. The, the thing of it is that we are all human at the end of the day. And we have been in situations where things didn't necessarily work out too well for us. Whether it be a relationship, whether it be business, whether it be, whether it be a multitude of things. We've been on, we all have been on the receiving end of, 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 of BS. But of course, all things happen for a reason. But what happens after the dust is settled and it's just you and you're now on your own to figure out which way is up? A lot of times, we don't, we'll say, we'll say verbally that we've moved on. But our actions say otherwise. And that's because we have not healed. I know healing is a, you know, is a popular word now. It's trendy, what have you. But healing is an action. It's not. Is not just a word. It's something that you do. It's something that you have to do. And in order to heal, I think that you have to first identify what it is that keeps harming you. What is it that allows you to keep being triggered by these people who obviously mean you no good? And I believe that comes from a I believe that comes from a place of of being insecure and feeling as if, okay, I'm not good enough. Because if you felt good enough about yourself and you felt that you were worthy, you wouldn't allow these things to keep it to keep haunting you. It happened. It took place. You didn't like it. You learn the lesson from it and you go forward. However, if you keep standing in the same spot, you're never going to progress. All of this is common sense. So a bit of, a lot of it is going to sound cliche. And and that's OK. However, it needs to be said you have to identify what it is that is not allowing you to really let go. You have to identify what it is that keeps you going off on these tangents and going going back into this cycle of heart of hurting yourself by associating with with 
with people who don't have your best interest at at heart. I'm talking family. I'm talking. I'm talking. You know, I'm talking girlfriends, boyfriends, ex-husbands, ex-wives, co-workers, whatever the situation is. A lot of times people feel guilty for how things transpired when in, when in fact they weren't the catalyst for things in, ending up the way that they that they ended up. You got to let that go. You got to let all that go. You have to move beyond that. Is if it's not your fault, or even if it was your fault, move on, move forward. Time does not go backwards. There's no way that you can get back yesterday. It may sound it may sound callous, it may sound harsh. However, it it is just the truth. It's okay to. Every now and again, maybe reminisce about a situation where you, you know, you really cared for a person or, or, or what have you. But you cannot dwell in yesterday and you cannot let the the you cannot let things that happened back then affect your now. And a lot of you do that. A lot of you will say, well. I'm this way because of what happened back then. Okay, well, have you addressed what happened back then? Have you have you really have you really addressed what happened back then? Have you really sat down and or even went to a therapist or or, or what have you or did, did some self reflection and said, okay, this is why this is what happened, and and unpack all that garbage, unpack all that baggage. I keep saying move forward because that's what you eventually will have to do. You will have to move forward. You will have to go beyond your crutch. And a lot of you use past traumas as a crutch. You stop progressing. And if you're not progressing, then you are regressing. The world doesn't stop because you want to go backwards. Identify what it is that is causing you the pain. And nobody is saying that it's easy. Nobody's saying that it's easy. I'm not saying that it's easy. Let me say it. Let me put it that way. I'm not saying that it's easy, but it's something that has to be done. And once you have that mindset, that you are going to clean up, clean clean up your closet, if you will. Shout out to Eminem. Um, you you will you you will see that things things will get much better for you. But all of this walking around, keeping it all inside, and 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 acting out, and 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 all of that, that's not going to help you in the long run. It's not going to help you in the long run and people making excuses for you or you making excuses for yourself. That's not healthy either. At some point, you have to you have to you have to basically say, hey, I don't want to keep living like this. I don't want to keep doing this. And then and only then will things begin to change around you. Change comes from within. Again, another cliche, but it is needed. Anyway, I've talked long enough about this particular subject. Stop allowing yourselves to be dragged back into toxic situations with toxic people who you know have, who, who you know mean you no good. They are not worth it. You are better than that. If you haven't heard it in a while, I'm here to tell you, you're better than that. Now that you've identified that you are better than that, go do something about it. Go prove it to yourself. Because in at the end, at the end of it all, at the end of the day, that's all that matters. All right, y'all. Well, as always, I leave you with this. Each day that you wake up, is a great opportunity to be better than the day you were before.
Never allow anybody to tell you that it's finished, it's done. Because only you can, only you determine that. Only you. And oh, before I get up out of here, um, sin of the day. Give you all, you know, give you all my sin of the day. Um, <clears throat> man, House of Man, Sarah, Sedrat, Boyce. Now, some of you have may, may have heard of this, and you know that it's mentioned in the same uh, uh, um, same lines as Creed Aventus, you know what have you. I personally say that this isn't a Creed Aventus clone. It does its own thing. It's different, um, but it is definitely a must-have. Um, could be your everyday scent if you want it to be. Uh, any season. Any occasion. Hey, as you see, I'm a little dressed up today. I'm, I'm rocking it. I'm rocking this scent with this. Great combination. They may be able to see me. They always going to be able to see me. But when I walk by them, definitely going to turn some heads. And that's what it's all about. This is fresh. It's fruity. Little woody. But it's a it's a great fragrance and it's something that you really need in your fragrance arsenal. I know that there's an intense version out. I haven't got my I haven't got my nose on that one yet. I don't know that I need it at this particular point, but I may pick it up. Probably will. But at this particular point in time, this does the job. So. If you can go ahead and get your nose on this, get this in your rotation. All right. Now, good people, that has been my time. And as always, I will leave you with this. Like, share, subscribe. Definitely do me that favor, please. It's free. It costs you nothing. And I, and I will see you folks on the other side at another time. Peace.